First Timothy 1 verse 7. You're listening to Caldo oh, Gospel not give Radio. you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 1 Timothy 1 verse 7. You're listening to Call Do God Gospel not Radio. give you Be the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 1 Timothy 1 verse 7. You're listening to Call Do Gospel Radio. Be blessed. Against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I've been sharing with my people and people all around the world that this is our fight. The devil is very strategic. And that's why Jesus said we should be wise like a serpent and harmless as a dove. If we're going to have victory, we need to know the strategy of our enemy. Jesus said, if a man is going to go to war, he need to first find out his opponent, the strength of his opponent. We need to find out the strategies of the enemy. And this is the, what the Lord has been showing me. From Ephesians 6, verse 12. When I look at it, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. There are four strategies that the enemy use. Principality, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high place. Two of these strategies are already been defeated by Jesus Christ. The Bible said in the book of Colossians chapter 2 and about verse 15, the Bible says that he defeated principalities and powers and made them an open shame. Now there are two strategies that we are wrestling with. The rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. The rulers of darkness of this world are people in high rank offices that have been influenced by spirit, demonic forces governments, kings, prime ministers. And this is why we need to pray for our prime ministers and our leaders. The enemy is always after heads. Because he know if he get the head, he destroy the whole body. Allah Messiah. It is very important that we understand that the Bible led us to understand when David killed Goliath, he had was to remove his head. And the moment David removed the head of Goliath, the Bible said the Philistines scatter. The Bible said when Ahab and Jehoshaphat went to war. The enemy told his soldiers, don't fight with small men. Look for the king. The Bible said the moment Ahab was slain, the war was over. This is what the enemy is doing right now. He's going after our heads. And if he can catch our heads, if he can defeat our heads, he will defeat our body. The next strategy that the enemy is using 
is spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, this is very important for the body of Christ to understand. Spiritual wickedness in high places work through medium. And it's the word that we get witchcraft from. The medium in which Saul went to when he could not know when he could no longer hear from God. He went to a medium. A medium is a transmission that transmit information from one world to another world. And this is where we get media. And the media have taken over the world. And the church, the bride of Christ, have been so caught up in the media and caused his husband, her husband, to be jealous. God is jealous after his bride. Look at this, people of God. We wake up in the morning before we have anything about media, telephone, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Before we have these things, we used to wake up in the morning praying and giving God glory. When we have lunchtime at work or wherever we are, we would take up the Bible and we will read the Bible and pray. Before we go to our bed, we will read our Bible and we will kneel down at the bed and we will pray. Since the media take over, we wake up in the morning checking our media platforms. Check who leave us a message. Check who like one of our pictures on WhatsApp or Facebook or wherever we put it. We go to our bed falling asleep on the media. God has been jealous after his bride because something else has taken away our attention. And that's why the media, the earwaves, have been filled with demonic informations. The earwaves have been filled with a whole lot of different things coming from one world to our world. And the lives of people have been corrupted. The mind of people have been corrupted. And God said to the church, we need to take back over the earwaves. We need to change the level of the frequency of the Holy Ghost. We need to take over the earwaves. But something else is operating in high places. And if the church don't open their mouth, if the church don't release the praises, don't release the prayer, something else will be transmitting from one world into our world. But the Lord said there ought to be a transmission from heaven to earth. That's why Jesus said, when you pray, say, our Father walked in heaven. Hallowed be in our name. Let your kingdom be in God. This is the time for the kingdom of God to come. The kingdom of God needs to take over the earth. It belongs to the Lord. The Lord said, I have found it upon the seas. I have established it upon the flood. Hallelujah to God. And I pray this morning for the body of Christ, for the people of God, because I believe with all my heart that if the church rise up, if the church take over the airwaves, if the church voice take over the atmosphere, we don't even need to speak to coronavirus. Coronavirus will automatically got to leave because there is something in the airwaves that is holding coronavirus. But if the church take it over, if the church release 
word of God, if the church released the praise of God, if the church released the name of Jesus Christ, I believe that coronavirus will have to go automatically, for the Lord will fill the earth. The Bible said in the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord and he was high and lifted up on his train that filled the temple. And I saw seraphims with six wings, with two that cover their face, with two that cover their feet, and with two that did fly. And they cried, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. I need somebody to raise their voice in this time and this season. God is calling the body of Christ to be awakened. He has given us the privilege at this time to rebuild our focus, to rebuild our self, to rebuild our life. Now pray that we will not miss this vision. I pray we will not miss this moment. Father God, I pray now. I believe there is a change coming. I believe there is a wave that is taking over the atmosphere. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God you will arise. As Moses said in the wilderness, when he moved with the heart of the covenant, he said, let God arise and let his enemies be I pray God that Thank God who moved in the beginning and said, let there be light. I pray, Father, that the light of God will begin to shine again. I pray, God, that the light will begin to shine. But the Bible said, when God said, let there be light, the Bible said, the Spirit of God move. This is our hear waves. This is our channel. This is what we need to get tuned into. We need to get tuned into the Holy Holy Ghost, so that the Holy Ghost can move. I need a move of your God, like a move in the beginning. Move again, God. Somebody need you. Somebody is sick and they need your God. Somebody is broken. Somebody is depressed and they need a move of the Holy Ghost. Move God from the poor corners of this world. I pray for a move. I lift my eyes up to the hills tonight, from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from you, God, the maker of heaven and earth, I pray, God, that you move in this time, move in this season, I believe, God, that there is a man, there is a woman that is about to be released in this time, for the world is looking for an answer, the world needs a solution, and God, the Bible let me to understand, that when Pharaoh got the dream, hallelujah to God, when he got the dream, he never got the solution, the Bible said he saw the five fat cows, and they were eaten up, famine was coming in the land, he didn't know what to do. His astrology fail him. His magician fail him. His wise men fail him. Hallelujah to God. He did not know where to turn. Our governments don't know where to turn. My God. But I have a God who got a solution. For there was a man by the name of Joseph that rejected him. They threw him in a pit. Hallelujah. They sold him as a slave. My God. They lied on him. They threw him in the prison. But God, when the time was right, when the season came, when the time came, the butler says, I know a man. There is somebody in Radio Land. Nobody sees you. Nobody knows you, but God said, I, I've been preparing you for this time, for this season. There is a prophet, there is an apostle, and God is rising up to take over the solution with a kingdom idea. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus for the body of Christ that they will take a stand for the Bible says stand therefore having your lines burned about with truth on the breastplate of righteousness. I pray God that you move my God, all over this world, the world need you, the world need you, 
Shake them like you shake the 
Nali, shake them, God. Mama, my son, yellow, yellow, shake it, shake, shake them, God, shake them with power. Shake my son, the Bible declares, Hallelujah. And when Ezekiel prophesied, he said, I heard the shaking. Somebody is beginning to shake. Somebody is coming back to life. We get God. We were going to go out, but the light will still burn. The light will never go out. Jesus declared, You are the light of the world. A city that is set up on a hill that cannot be hid. I want to call the body of Christ to shine. There is a darkness, but there is a light in you. Shine. Shine, 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 shine in the name of Jesus. Shine, mama, mama, shine the power. Release the power. Release the power. Release the power. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost come upon you. The Holy Ghost is here. The Bible says, Jesus. Declare, I'm gonna leave you, but I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna pray that the Father send you another comforter, the Holy Ghost, or oh, I forget. Our oh, advantage, my helper, Holy Ghost, we pray, take over the airwaves, take over the atmosphere, intercept every demonic force, every powers of the enemy. We break it, we break the order, we mash up the meeting, we cancel the plan. Everywhere there is a relief. We command the angels of God to intercept them. Mashanda Baha'i. Mama Mashanda. The Bible says, You shall decree a thing, and it shall come to pass. I decree that there is life. I decree a fresh anointing. I decree power of God. Arise. Arise, 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 arise. I say arise. I feel power. Arise. I feel the anointing. Arise. I feel the glory. I'm not afraid of no corona. I won't even talk too much about it. But the Lord, that has been too long that we haven't talked about him. The media talk too much about the corona. Jesus must be exalted. He must be glorified. He must be lifted up. If I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw. Pull us, God, closer. Pull us, God, closer. Pull us, God. Closer, I pray, Father. You are my shire for your believers, your children. They're scattered all over the earth. They're praying right now. God, you said you will hear our prayer. I pray, Father, for your prophets, for your evangelists, for your missionaries, for your leaders, for your beacons, for your apostles. I pray, God, that the vision, the plan, the kingdom idea will begin to release. For if there are every darkness, there must come a light. Prepare us for the day that the light will come, that we can learn how to gather your harvest. Prepare us. For revival, prepare us for transformation, prepare us for a turnaround. Lord, Lord, prepare your bride. And now, God, that you will begin to release the visions 
release visions and dreams. Your people are awakened, Father. They are awakened. And for those who are just waking up, for those who are just getting connected, I pray, God, that you connect them real quick. For this corona, this, this thing that has been going on in the earth, you allow it, Father. You allow it so that we can be awakened. And even as I was speaking tonight, hallelujah, the Spirit of the Lord, let me understand that is what we allow. God permits. Whatever we allow, that's what God permits. Whatever we allow, that that's what God permits. Whatever we allow, that that's what God will permit. I pray tonight that the church of the living God, the bride of Christ, will begin to make access, will begin to allow the Spirit of God to unleash in this earth and take it over like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for an awakening of the body. My God, those who are still sleeping, the Bible said the time is far spent. It's time to wake. So no, Father, I pray that you will grant answers, access. I believe that the earwaves right now is turning. I believe it's turning back to the rightful maker. And we want to pollute it with the Holy Ghost. And then Ashaya, Lord, I pray for this radio station. I pray for Prophet Morton that you will ever keep them, that you will ever sanctify the platform in which the steps are ordered, that you will ever uplift them, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with this vision. For the word of God said, anywhere two or three are gathered together on earth, touching anything concerning God, he is in the midst. And Lord, you will never go back on your word. You're in the midst of this. Let every politician, every king, every president, every supreme person is right now, Father begin to seek the advice of men and women of God. For the Bible declares that whenever there is a time of trouble, people will go to the prophets. Kings go to the prophets. Mashanda Baha'i. Shake our leaders again, God. And for those that the enemy have taken over their head, my God, they refuse to bow and be in humility to your word and your name. I pray, God, that you take them out of place. For the Bible says you're the one who lift up kings and you're the one who put them down. My God, sir, according to Jeremiah 5, run through the street, God, there is a man. There is a man, God, that is ready to execute judgment, that is ready to call upon your name, that is ready to stand according to your word. Search for them, Holy Ghost. I pray, Father, for each and every one that have been tapped into this media, who have been sending up in the earwaves their voices. I pray, God, that He will ever give strength and power to their words. By God, so we can pull down every stronghold of the enemy, every satellite that the enemy set up. We pull them down, we cut them down, and we command that the satellite of God begin to rise, that there will be an Holy Ghost transmission. My God, that those who are not yet saved can be, hallelujah, influenced with the radio with the radiation of the Holy Ghost. I pray in the name of Jesus that the word of God will begin to reach those who are not yet saved. My God, that the revival of God will begin to take over and the kingdom of God will begin to enlarge. For Jesus declare, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I pray God that life will begin to reach the lifeless. Hope will begin to reach the hopeless. My God, I pray in the name of Jesus that the dry bones will be shaken. 
Shake them in Curacao. Shake them in Curacao. Shake them all over the world, Father. Shake them, Lord. We lift them up to you today. We lift them up to you right now. Every devil that has been released on a mission this morning, their mission has just been canceled. I command every mission to be canceled. In the name of Jesus, every meeting of the enemy right now, I command them to be canceled. Satan will have to hear the voice of the people of God. The Bible says God sent Moses to Pharaoh. God said, if he don't hear you, then he will have to hear me. The devil will have to hear you when you speak. And if the devil don't hear you, he will have to hear God. Every devil, your mission is canceled. I declare, I declare that this day will be peaceful. That it will be joyful. That it will be happy. That there will be an anointing moving in the here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for this privilege. I thank you, God, for this access. And I thank you for this platform that your voice can be heard. And that I both see our man, the, the words can go forth. Thank you for this media that has been releasing your word over the airwaves. That has been connecting all over God spoiling the principalities and the powers that are moving in the ear. Thank you, Father. And I pray, God, that you will ever bless it. Release more antennas. Release more transmission pole. My God, that there will be a greater interception. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah! Holy God! Power! Mama Shandele Lebohosa! Power! Get the Bahaya! Share the Madusha! Get the Bahande! Thank you, Holy Ghost! May God bless you tonight. It's a privilege and an honor, Kundap Sikalamande, for me to be here in Jesus' mighty name. I will continue to pray. I will continue to seek the face of God as long as we are always here praying. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless your radio land. God bless your family in Curacao. God bless your family in Jamaica all over this world. God bless you. Thank you very much in Jesus' name.